What is up YouTube? How's everyone doing today? This is everything is tech here and in this video I'll be showing you how to set up an external Blu-ray drive to a Windows computer. And just so you know the specific Blu-ray drive I am using today is the Sony BDX S500U model. I'll have that in the title and description bar just so if you're curious to know. And overall, you know, I'll get into a review on this drive really soon. But in this video I'll show you how to set up the drive to a Windows computer. So with pretty much any Blu-ray drive you buy, you're going to be getting the drive itself. You're also going to be getting a setup CD, and that will be depending on what system it is compatible with. It'll probably be Windows most likely, unless you get a drive specifically for the Mac. But if you are kind of curious how to set up a Blu-ray drive for Mac, click somewhere on the video right now. I'll have a link to how to set up this exact drive to a Macintosh computer. You're also going to be getting either a USB cable or a FireWire cable, depending on what kind of drive you get. Mine actually does have a USB and USB 2.0 and you're also possibly going to be getting a wall outlet charger adapter and if you do actually do have one of these you're probably going to be guaranteed to get some faster speeds than with drives without a wall adapter because your drive is going to be taking power from a wall outlet source and that will probably help in the speeds. So let's get started. First off you have to go to the back of your drive or wherever you can find the inputs and first of all let's start ahead and start putting the USB input in like so and then let's go ahead and take the wall adapter if you do have one and plug that in in the back I only have two inputs for mine and once you have those just go ahead and plug in the USB the USB into uh, USB source and the power into the power outlet once you finally have the USB and wall adapter plugged in, you're going to be probably seeing a green light right over here, which indicates that this drive is ready to go. So then pretty much once you get the green light, you can go ahead and turn on your monitor if your monitor isn't already on, and go ahead and put the installation disk right inside the disk drive of your computer. So this drive is actually compatible with three operating systems. You need to have either Windows XP with Service Pack 3. You need to have either Windows Vista or Windows 7. So the drive pretty much works with any of the latest Windows versions out there today. And for the specs, as far as that goes, my computer is running a 2.5 gigahertz quad-core processor. And I have a 20, 9800 uh, NVIDIA GeForce. So my computer is pretty decent for running Blu-ray drives. And Sony does actually recommend having at least a 1.8 gigahertz core to do a processor on your computer if you actually do plan to run your Blu-ray drives or Blu-ray movies on it. And I would I'd definitely prefer a, at least a quad core or, or dual core or i3, i5, or i7 processor to run your Blu-ray drives or Blu-ray DVDs rather. So let's go ahead and go to your computer and locate the disk and just go ahead and double click it or install it and choose your language. Go with the application install. Go ahead and click yes. And this is where you have to kind of install your applications. I would personally just recommend installing all the applications. And I'm not going to install it right now because I've already done that. But go ahead and install all the applications and then let's go to the next part. So once you have all your applications installed on your computer, you're almost ready to start watching Blu-ray movies because you know you've been through all the hassle and you just want to get through. You're almost done. If you are using a desktop computer, the last thing you have to make sure is you are using an HDMI cable to connect your desktop tower to your desktop monitor. If you're not using an HDMI cable, the DVD just will not pick it up. The software and DVD just kind of declines it. So you have to make sure you are using an HDMI cable to connect your monitor and your desktop tower. Once you have that done, you're ready to start watching your Blu-ray DVDs. Go on to your DVD section where you have your My Computer part. You have all your drives and your discs. Go ahead and right click on the Blu-ray movie and click the option with Play with Power DVD. And I'm using the version 9. You can be using 9, 10, or 11, which are available for some extra money. So if you have the money to spend, you'd always buy it. And once you click that option, the DVD loads are pretty quick. Um, takes like about a few seconds and almost loaded by the blue bar. Then go ahead onto the application, right click on the player, and go turn off the speakers just a little bit. And there you go, you are watching the Blu-ray DVD on your desktop. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them. I'll be happy to answer them. And thanks for watching the video, and peace out.